my background is I'm a medical oncologist uh, practicing in uh, LA now. Uh, I've been introduced to the cow culture a few years ago, and uh, personally I had uh, some of the experiences that mo most of my predecessor speakers talked about. So I would make it very short of, I'm going to uh, introduce to you guys about the cow urine, importance of cow urine in the health and well-being of the human life. So when we talk about health, you know, 1946 World Health Organization, about 70 different countries, including India and the United States, participated in defining the white elephant called health. And the definition came about like this. Health is a state of complete mental well-being, including the spiritual well-being of it, physical well-being, social well-being, uh, and not merely absence of disease. When we talk about health, this is the whole breadth of the definition. And what we learn today, and most of the, uh, yeah, thank you. Today is, uh, is this holistic approach of the health with the uh, cow culture. And uh, some of the experiences people talked about, you know, we know the pharmaceutical industry, right? Drug manufacturing, whatnot. And the new uh, wave of industry is called nutraceutical, all energy cuticles, utilizing the energy at the ultimate uh, in the health and well-being of the human life. So, so I have a few collaborators. Uh, Dr. Venugopal Dharamsala, Prabhu from uh, uh, West Coast, and he has an integrative medicine background and uh, this, his brainchild is the Prabhupada Research Institute for Integrative Medicine, uh, to looking at the Vedic aspect of uh, integrative medicine. And I have another collaborator, uh, Harinath Reddy. He's from Tirupati. Uh, it is Go Samrachaka Shala, where uh, recently the government of India has funded 25 crore rupees project to improve the indigenous native cows in India and also breed them and preserve and protect uh, their population. And also looking at the health benefits of indigenous cows. And most of the, uh, all the research that came about in the East is from the indigenous cows. Uh, there's cows from India. And also they looked at from cows from elsewhere and also other animals, and they didn't have the same health benefits that indigenous cows has. So I'm going to stick to my time. So we're going to talk about some uh, the, the entire human life as a physical mechanism, you need to have a lot of components in right proportion for you to have optimal health. But in, 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 in reality, we lack so many things, which is what the slides talk about is how cow urine kind of uh, complements that. And this was actually described way, way in the Vedic system, in Ayurveda. So Sushi Samhita talked about this aspect of cow, uh, the urine of cow or animal product, and also, so the lot of research on the cow urine comes from the Vedic knowledge. So when you see the cow composition of cow urine, 95% is water, and about remaining half of 5% is urea. And next half of that is minerals, salts, hormone, enzymes. 
What we are predicting through this center is we may identify about 3,500 bioactive compounds, isolating them and testing them with the cancer cell lines and uh, uh, other basic science so that to show the modern uh, scientific community the real health benefits that we all talked about all this morning. And it also has estrogens, corticosteroids, and then, I, as I talked about, they compared the studies between buffalo, urine, goat, and other animals. There, there's no way comparable to the Indian cows. And some of the physiologic functions, and if you read through the slide, so cow urine has very rejuvenating, cleansing qualities to the blood and the internal milieu. And that's what all these studies talks about. And if you, so cow urine ha has all these mineral uh, compounds. Let's say, for example, if you take manganese as a chemical from the lab and you can test it versus the cow urine as a holistic, that's where the maximum benefit is, Indian cows. It's not like, you know, our modern concept is everything what you find, you make it as a pill and market it as a medicine. But that is not the point here. So you, you use the cow urine as a holistic aspect. And like some of the speakers talks about epilepsy, fever, and anemia also has been utilized. And this is a slide, a busy slide. It kind of, if you see the cow urine, entire human aspect it covers. About 30 to 14 different systems in the body, including the brain, GI system, endocrine system. So the cow urine as a whole is actually stabilizes the human health. And uh, Dr. Swami has pointed out this slide, so Council on Scientific and Industrial Research in India has patented some of these properties of cow urine. And it also antioxidants, and many of this uh, they talk about is volatile fatty acids. Some of this we don't know yet. So that's where the research needs to be done, both basic science as well as clinical science. And also it has uh, immune enhancing properties, both as a white blood cells and other immune system in, in our body. And also it uh, uh, actually keeps our blood thin. As we grow old, the tendency for the body is to get thicker blood, uh, called have heart attacks, blood clots, and stuff like that. So this is where the cow urine has a very beneficial effect. And cow urine also has shown to actually help benefit the liver. People have a bad liver. With the cow urine, their liver can be brought back to normalcy. That has been documented. So wound healing, it has benefits, and local, some indigenous uh, uh, parasitic infections were also having a beneficial effect from cow urine. And actually for the diabetics, if you use the cow urine in conjunction with the other medicine, it actually helps reducing the dose of medicine, and also has a beneficial effect in mellowing down the blood sugar levels. And also, the cholesterol and other bad effects that we develop. And also it improves the bioenhancing properties where any uh, other medicines like antibiotics, anti-cancer agents, their potential is improved so that you reduce the uh, dosage of these med medications. So their side effects are reduced. 
So the Panchagaya or Kaupati uses cow urine, milk, ghee, curd, and dung all together. And then some of the speakers have talked about. And what are the uh, diseases that have been used? And so, some of the studies have shown, actually, in migraines, the Panchagaya therapy is very effective. And also depression. And, uh, okay, the, when you talk about cow urine, okay, what are the side effects, a disadvantage from the cow urine? That could be a, one of the common questions. So interesting enough, if you use a lower dose of cow urine, like about two to eight ml of per kg body weight. We're talking about less than five ml per kg body weight, about 250 ml or so. So then you have all these side effects, diarrhea, itching, pain, fatigue, and, and et cetera. But if you use a higher dosage of cow urine, higher amount, you don't have these effects. So that shows that it has a very high therapeutic benefit, cow urine. So that is the summary of all the studies that kind of talks about all these benefits. So even though this is the preliminary information, more and more research needs to be done. So this is where we're going to accept the cow into the health and well-being aspect of the modern life. With that, if you have any questions, I'll take it. Thank you.